ladies and gentlemen, they're kicking around an idea to use taser armed drones for these mass shootings in order to take out the mass shooter, a weaponized drone. <sighs> How about your cops just doing the job they're paid to do? How about that? I mean, all of these equip, oh, well, you know, I mean, you wouldn't even go after Micah Johnson sent a robot in. How about doing your job? Yeah, seriously. Wow. Taser developer Axon said this week that it's working on building drones armed with the electric stunning weapons that could fly into schools and help prevent the next Uvalde, Sandy Hook, or Columbine. But its own technology advisors quickly panned the idea as a dangerous fantasy. The publicly traded company, which sells tasers and police body cameras, well, why don't y'all create a police body camera that they can't switch off? You know, give it a thought. Floated the idea of a new police drone product last year to its Artificial Intelligence Ethics Board, a group of well-respected experts in technology, policing, and privacy. I bet you there's no Black people in that group. I'm just saying. Some of them express reservations about weaponizing drones in over-policed communities of color. But there weren't, you know, they weren't expecting Axon's Thursday announcement that it wants to send those taser-equipped drones into classrooms to prevent mass shootings by immobilizing the intruding gunmen. In an interview with the Associated Press, the CEO, Rick Smith, said he felt compelled to make the idea public that the mass shootings at the uh, Uvalde, Texas Elementary School, saying it was, um, you know, a catastrophic disappointment. And in response by police who didn't move in to kill the suspect for more than an hour. But he stressed Friday that no product has been launched or any potential launch would be down the road. The idea, he felt, needed to be shared now because the public conversation is affected, you know, about effective ways for police to safely confront attackers and how schools can increasingly, um, you know, be safe. But my question is, what do they learn in the police academy? When they're in the police academy, do they uh, learn about mass shootings and what to do? Or do y'all just skip over that part and just kind of push them out there? I would imagine that would have to be part of the curriculum because it happens so frequently in America. So now we got to wait for the drone to go up in the air and make it in the building and go after these mass shooters. Okay. I, I don't know. Not unless it's, you know, they have it somewhere in the school, but I don't know. I'm, I'm still not confident about that. I, I think the police should do their jobs. I really do. Okay. This is an idea that should get into the public's consciousness while our minds are open to it. And I felt if I waited another six months, the world is going to change and people are going to forget this pain. And we're going to see a shift of sentiments where people are going to focus a lot more on what could go wrong now, and, and that's what I'm thinking about this drone. How accurate is it? And 
I don't know. I, I, I'm just always leery about these things they put out. You know, I could see the thing flying, getting to where the gunman is. And what, what if a child gets tased instead of the gunman? You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I have to always consider the possibility. You know, especially after looking at these drones they use overseas. And we've seen too many occasions where civilians would be taken out and not uh, terrorists. You know, we've seen that multiple times. So Axon's stock price rose when the news, I guess when that news came out about their drones, what they could possibly do. But the announcement angered members of the ethic board, some of whom are likely to quit and protest. Mm -mm -mm. I I don't know, y'all. I'm not crazy about the idea, but you're going to have to tell me what you think. Um, You know, I, I understand they're looking at other possibilities on things they can do to get these active shooters, but I'm sorry, good old police work should work as well. There's no reason why it shouldn't. You know, I I just want to know why is it that when protests are going out on the street, you got every weapon known to mankind, including military weapons out on the streets. But when these active shooters are out there, Y'all handle them like they're shoplifters. You don't even, I mean, if a black man or woman is walking down the street, they'll come and jump them, take them down to the ground, shoot them, and even say that, crap, you look like a suspect. Okay, so even if they did look like a suspect, and you know, whenever they say that, you already know they don't have the right person. Seriously, you already know right off the bat, you know, but they can do that any day of the week. But when an active shooter is gunning down and murdering children and people in a grocery store, you're hesitant. You're hesitating. You know, I would love to see the curriculum of the police academy to see what they learn when it comes down to an active shooter. And if they do indeed learn things in the police academy about this, why are not why are they not implementing it on their jobs when these shootings occur? That's the real question right there. But, you know, this is what happens when you allow them to stand around and fear for their lives. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this taser-armed drones that could possibly be used on active shooters. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.